Today we're going to look at smart playlists in iTunes. Now Apple has introduced this concept of smart folders, smart playlists, smart groups, and they all pertain to different applications. Today we're going to look at iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and launch iTunes here and it's going to bring up my music library. Now no doubt you're already familiar with creating playlists. Uh, which you can either do by clicking on the plus symbol here to create a playlist or you can go to the file menu and say new playlist. Now a traditional playlist is a static list that you define so for example I might call this my uh, you know workout music and then I can go into my library and I can select certain songs that I want to have in my uh, workout music. So I may choose uh, this group of songs and drag them and drop them into workout and I might choose this group of songs and uh, do the same thing. Uh, now again it hasn't moved them out of my library. Uh, all it has done is it has said within this playlist here are the songs that have been added. So that's a traditional playlist. And it works pretty well for most purposes. The next most powerful thing you can do, though, is to create a smart playlist. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go up to the File menu and say New Smart Playlist. And now it's going to give us this Smart Playlist box. Now again, a smart whatever is basically a definition of some set of criteria and anything meeting that criteria is automatically added, in this case, to our playlist. So let's say, for instance, that I would like to uh, create a playlist of all my jazz music. Um, now, you'll notice that in this genre of jazz, uh, there are a couple of different types of jazz. There's jazz, uh, there's general jazz. So I'm going to create a rule that captures both of those. And so I will say, I'd like to have anything where the genre contains jazz added to the playlist. Uh, now there are some other things you can do. You can limit the number of items, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this one and click OK. So now uh, over here, iTunes has created a smart playlist. It has gone through my list of music and it's taken anything with jazz in the genre. So the, all these general jazzes show up and then everything that just says normal jazz shows up. Okay, uh, next thing is uh, you'll notice in my genre here I have jazz music, uh, general jazz music, uh, but I also have some classical music that I would like to have included in that playlist as well. So I'm going to go and create a new playlist, a new smart playlist, and uh, it needs to match the following rule. I want the genre to contain jazz and I'm going to add another rule here. Now as soon as I clicked on that little plus to add another rule um, iTunes gave me a new selection here which says you can have selections match any or all of the following rules. I'm going to do an any because this is an either. It's either equal to jazz or it's equal to classical. Genre contains classical. And I'll leave everything else the same and click OK. Now it's created this new playlist which I'm going to call Jazz and Classical. <clears throat> and you'll notice that it has gone ahead and through my library captured everything that was classical and everything that has the word jazz in it. For the final playlist I'm going to do something a little more sophisticated. Uh, let's assume that I have a large jazz library and that uh, I constantly want to listen to music that I haven't listened to in a while. Uh, as opposed to having a static playlist where you may listen to that same group over and over again, the, the smart playlist is going to update not only the genre of jazz, but also music that hasn't been listened to in at least the past 30 days. To do this, we'll create a new Smart Playlist, 
and the rule first will be the genre contains jazz. We'll add a new rule where the last played is not in the last 30 days. And I only want to have 25 songs in this playlist, so I'll go ahead and limit the number of items to 25 songs and let iTunes select it randomly. And now when I click OK, it will create this new playlist, and I'll call this uh, Jazz Older Than 30. <clears throat> and you can see here that it has gone ahead and uh, picked up 25 songs that it selected at random which were of the genre jazz, and the last played in this case was uh, never. And so that's, create, that's considered greater than 30 days, but iTunes is smart enough to know what today is and then to be able to subtract 30 from it for the purposes of this one. So that's the quick example of how to create smart playlists. Please feel free to play around with the controls. Again, remember that's a filter that you're basically putting on your music and now you can use these playlists to either listen to in iTunes or sync up with your iPod.